March 30th was a day of celebration outside the AAC. It was Festival de los Mavs, a day-long extravaganza inspired by Hispanic cultures designed to introduce new fans to the Mavs family and thank the loyal fans who have already made the Mavericks a part of their life. It's the Hispanic Heritage Day, it's Festival de los Mavs, it's an opportunity for everybody who speaks a little Spanish to come out and have fun, but also to celebrate the Hispanic heritage that is so, you know, ubiquitous here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Festival de los Mavs was the brainchild of Mark Cuban, who has made it a goal of his ever since he purchased the team in the late 90s to reach out to the Hispanic community. It was Cuban who started the Spanish radio broadcast, hired the first Hispanic general manager in the NBA, and hired the first Mexican-born head coach, Eduardo Najera, who coaches the Texas Legends. An event like Festival de los Mavs helps reinforce the fact that the Hispanic community is a huge part of the Mavericks' success as an organization. And players like Devin Harris are eager to show their gratitude by taking part in the fun. I've always been curious about other coaches, good because these fans support us too, especially being in Texas. Obviously, the Latin community definitely gave us a lot of support, so it's good to give back. They show a lot of love to us in so many ways that uh, they really help us in the community uh, with majority of the things that we do, so it's always give back to them as well. Mariachi music and traditional Mexican dancing were only part of the exciting activities the Mavs had planned for the festival. Kids had a chance to display their shooting skills in both basketball and soccer. Mavs dancers were there to autograph calendars. Oh, that is awesome, thank you. And several of the Mavericks were on hand to pose for pics and lend their support. But none of those things was the main attraction. What would a festival de los Mavs be without a mechanical bull? This is this is uh, for sure for the Spanish people because sometimes we don't, you know we we sit in there watching every single game and we really appreciate like whatever they organize all this stuff we really appreciate it because we're Hispanic and we enjoy it all day long. That's it. You're obviously a big Mavs fan out here with that tattoo. Tell me what's up with that. Just got it whenever the championship happened and it's part of history, so I had to get it. I saw you trying to teach Mark Falwell how to introduce and, and promote this event. Uh, tell me how that went. Well, you know, Mark and I have been traveling with the Mavericks since 2005. Of course, he's been doing the games for longer than me, but but uh, we really have a very good relationship. And he's learned a lot of Spanish hanging out with me. We sit together on the plane. So uh, it's been really, really a lot of fun to get him to say things. And then the outtakes are really funny because he was like, ah! Aquí nosotros que da, da, da. Oh, 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 oh. None of y'all having to talk in another language. Aquí con nosotros hablar. Ah, da, da. It's fantastic. You know, Mark, the one thing about Mark that is really uh, very invigorating as a friend is that he always wants to learn more and he wants to learn to speak Spanish. So it's been it's been a lot of fun with him. I know you're quick on the court. Can you uh, salsa? Uh, <laughs> I got a few steps. I don't know if I can hang that long, but I got a few steps. <laughs> Whether you can dance the salsa, or you're more comfortable eating salsa, or whether you can ride the bull, or just shoot the bull, Festival de los Mavs gave you a chance to do all of the above. From Mavs Insider, I'm Lauren Hardaway.